hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm susan and this is simply susanna and if you haven't subscribed yet kindly go and subscribe like share and comment and god will bless you and you know start taking this journey with us as we encourage each other as we bond as we get to know each other and as we grow also so thank you guys for the for the support I can never take it for granted. I'm so, so, so very elated and happy that the many people that we are, because we are very many, we are very many in this channel, the very many people that are following me and following this journey, you're very supportive and I love the support. I'm so encouraged and I hope and pray that God helps me to be encouraged to be of, an, of encouragement to you in return and we grow together and we expand together so guys if you watched yesterday's video i hope it blessed you and if you have anything to say on it a comment or anything that you know that god that god revealed to you a revelation that came upon you after watching the video i pray and i ask that you may comment something you may inbox me of something that you may want us to talk about let's make this interactive as interactive as possible so that you can get to grow together and you can get to encourage to get each other in this journey so guys today i just wanted us to talk about the voice of god and obeying it obeying the voice of god you guys uh, I am so happy that I'm so happy and elated that I can say that God speaks to me and I I know he speaks to everybody it's not just me he speaks to everybody uh, considering that you have a relationship with him he will always keep you close and speak to you and talk to you if you have a close relationship with him, he'll open up to you and give you his secrets and reveal stuff to you. And you know, he'll instruct you on what he wants you to do. And his kind of voice is, is not as the way we communicate as humans. God's communication or talking to us is, is kind of different. It's kind of different because I can't really explain it for myself, the way it happens for me. I can't really explain it, but it's, it's an awesome experience and it's an awesome thing to just hear God tell you something. It's a strong conviction. His voice is too loud. It's too strong. Yeah, so what can I say? Sometimes... The voice of God can be terrifying, terrifying, because most times God, especially to me, he has been speaking to me on things like to like try me if, if my faith is as strong as I say it is. It's like he tries to see like I'm committed as I say I am and I can confidently say that I've been passing these trials hundred percent I hope God is God sees it and it makes him feel as good as it makes me because whenever God has spoken to me and I get to execute what his voice tells me to do and you know there's that there's that contentment and fulfillment that I get after that I hope God sees and it also puts a smile on his face and so I was looking in the case of in the case of Moses yeah Moses when God was instructing him to to move the Israelites to be in charge of them and Moses was really scared and he started giving God excuses he started telling him oh God you know I have impaired speech I can't speak properly I don't know how to speak in front of people and since God's eyes and hand was on him, there was no way 
and he had already chosen him the bible says in jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 that before you were in your mother's womb in your mother's womb sorry i for sorry i formed you even before you were in your mother's womb that even before you were formed i had set you apart so meaning some of the things and mantles and responsibilities that god has given us this time he had already put them on us even before we were born as the bible says so in this case of moses god's hand and eyes were on him so no matter what kind of excuses or how many excuses he was to give him god really had a plan so he told him oh, okay yes fine i'll give you aaron to go with you and he'll look up to you and he'll he'll be happy to be of service to you in whatever area you need him to he'll speak to people on your behalf and this got me really 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 like <laughs> curious about god's character because sometimes god god is really cheeky and really funny because imagine going to god like hey god i can't do this i don't speak properly i have impaired speech god tells you i have somebody already because already in his in his plans and his purpose he knew that he would give up that excuse so he already had arranged or strategized this plan to the fullest so moses had no other option but to go with what God was telling him. And I've found that in my journey, as God continues to speak to me, like for example, recently, recently God spoke to me to like give out something that was <laughs> really dear to me. It wasn't really dear, but it was something at least I could say I own. And I was really proud to have had it but God directed me on giving it out and who to give it to and I was I was in shock because I'm giving out something that's the only thing I own at that point I have nothing else in my hands and God wants me to give it out I just went ahead and gave it cheerfully cheerfully and when I went to this person and dedicated this token to this person this person was like are you sure are you sure about this are you sure you're doing the right thing and I told them God told me to do this so I am sure and it comes from the heart and there's nothing that can make me not do it because God has instructed it himself and it's in my it's in my joy it's in my pride it's in my you know it's in me to obey what God says because immediately God ordered me to do this he immediately told me there's a door that is supposed to be opened through this action yeah God told me, immediately you do this, there's a door that is opening up for you somewhere through this obedience. And, you know, I don't even know what the door is because, you know, God's, God's purposes and plans are way above our plans. As the Bible says, just as the heavens are up above the earth, so are his thoughts to ours they are so different and far apart so yesterday i got to pass by where that person is and she immediately stopped me hey hey hi i've been meaning to talk to you and she like was was tearing up in her eyes i could see it and she was like you know what you did really opened up my life there were things that were really not working and this and this happened through what you gave and i'm so appreciative I'm... guys i found myself crying because i'm i'm such a crier 
especially on things that are really sensitive and really touchy for me so i found myself tearing up we teared up together and i told her that she should just pray for me and wish you know wish like doors open up for me and whatever i'm believing god for will happen and she was really 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 appreciative and I could really see what God was doing and God doesn't make mistakes when he communicates some things to, some things to us to do when he commands us to do stuff he doesn't make a mistake God always has a plan you may not be where you are you may not be having what you need to have right now and God commands you to like offer whatever little you have to a person and you find that that person's life and heart changes and they continue to love god and they continue you know maybe their hope was really destroyed they were in despair but through your action and through your obedience to god's voice you find that you have resuscitated their faith you know you have brought them back to life they're smiling again and that is fulfillment enough that is fulfillment enough. So I would really like to urge you, if you hear God's voice, obey it, obey it, obey it. And God will surely, you know, God's plan will take place. Whatever he's purposing to do through your obedience will take place. So remember on the other side, there's somebody who's benefiting out of your obedience and so it's my encouragement to continue obeying god like listen to his voice in whatever you do whenever he communicates to you don't be resistant yield to the voice and obey and see the fruits and the fulfillment it brings you and the heart it touches after so guys thank you very much for listening to me thank you for the time that you've given to me thank you for continuing to support if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you doing what are you doing kindly go and subscribe to this channel and may god bless you and see you on the next one bye